Just be yourself. Be authentic. Try to be more genuine. But really, what does authenticity mean? Do you have a small identity crisis whenever someone tells you to just be yourself? It's the same problem people who want to seem genuine have. Is it possible to sell without feeling like a salesperson? Give an elevator pitch without pitching. Talk about yourself without sounding self-centered. Call this the authenticity crisis. You're on a tightrope between obscurity and relevance and forever at risk for falling into the fiery flames of inauthenticity any time. Before we do anything, it's almost a habit to ask, is it good enough? Is it interesting? Will people like this? Or is it too much? Is this a humble brag? Should I tone it down? This video is a guide on how to be yourself. Number one, assume intimacy. You may have heard the phrase, assume the best in people. However, there's another one you may also want to adopt. Assume intimacy with people before you have it. Why? You want to be genuine, but not trying too hard. Therefore, you want to make acquaintances your friends and strangers your clients. You may find yourself opening up more casually and feeling less pressure when you're looking at the other person like a friend or someone you've known for for a long time. Number two. The opposite of obscurity is not fame. There is a difference between being obscure and being niche driven. Don't aim to be known by everyone because that's a horrible way to market yourself. If you do that, you'll be diluting your essence. Instead, try to focus on the specific type of people you want to reach and be known to. This way, you will be a little bit more of yourself. And remember, relevancy isn't a numbers game. Number three, go there. The biggest challenge you may have is the line between being real and oversharing, or maybe even worrying that your vulnerability is too much or won't be received well. You may go the route where you overshare in the hopes of opening up. Instead, try to get personal. Remember that you need to be transparent because you need to ensure trust. Try telling them about your real fears and see how it goes. Take a chance. Share something really deep. Don't try so hard to cover up imperfections and use vulnerability as a bonding mechanism. Thank you for watching this video. For more content like this, please consider subscribing to The Success Bistro.